Well, let's go now to our reporter, Natalie Malchas, for more on that taxi violence. She's at the Tembokwezi Square in Kailitsha. Natalie, uh, it was heartbreaking last night to see people desperately trying to get home uh, and trying to get to work this morning. And there's a big cold front heading Cape Town's way. In fact, it's already hit, Annika. We're standing out here in a rainy Kailitsha. And those chaotic scenes that we heard of and saw for ourselves last night definitely were repeated this morning as thousands struggle to get to work. As you mentioned, there's a partial service on the bus route after Golden Arrow reported more threats and intimidation on its bus drivers. Many are too fearful to actually get behind the wheel this morning. Of course, this continued uh, feud between arrival taxi buses uh, has left commuters feeling like sitting ducks. We actually took a taxi yesterday between Mitchell's Plain and Hanover Park. Uh, and about 12 hours after uh, that expedition, we heard of continued shootings really close to where we had just been. So commuters right now are feeling fearful, they're nervous, uh, and they're really in a pickle. They can't risk going to work because of these continued battles and feeling like targets. In fact, we even heard from private uh, staff drivers saying that even they're being targeted. Now even the bus commuters uh, are among the targets in this ongoing feud between rival taxi groups. That's right, Natalie. We're hearing that if you try and send an Uber uh, or try and get an Uber from uh, any of the ranks or a private uh, car, uh, those are being warned to stay away. So uh, commuters really are battling and many of them are desperate to earn that daily wage. Uh, restaurants haven't been opened until uh, this week. Uh, so really hard times. So what's been done to try and mediate some kind of pre peace? Well, all of this chaos is playing out at the same time as taxi associations uh, apparently being uh, locked in closed door meetings to reach a truce. There was this peace accord that was reached earlier this month. But that fell flat almost 24 hours later because there were fresh shootings uh, here in Cape Town. So these talks are continuing. The uh, transport minister, Fikile Mbalula, says he's monitoring that situation. So too is his provincial counterpart, um, Dalen Mitchell, the MEC of transport here in the Western Cape. At the same time, law enforcement has been bolstered. We visited some of those tense taxi ranks in Nyanga, in Mitchell's Plain, in Langa yesterday. And we saw across uh, the city, there were several police officers. We know the SANDF has also been deployed. They've been in Cape Town, in the Western Cape rather, since Friday. At the moment, we know that there are at least 170 officers, and that will be boosted to around 400 officers by the end of this week. The situation is tense, and it's chaotic, and people are fearful here, Annika. Natalie, are you getting any idea of uh, whether the DA-led provincial government and national government are working in a cohesive fashion to try and solve this crisis? That is the line that we are hearing. In fact, last week, Friday, Fikile Mbalula and Dalen Mitchell uh, briefed the media outside uh, the Brackenfall uh, traffic center to say that is exactly they're on the same page they all have one agenda and they want to clear this up and they want to uh, bring peace as soon as possible and they're prepared uh, to take quite a, a strong stance should they need to because one life lost is one too many so it does appear as if the authorities are on one page but the commuters frankly are saying there's too much talking happening and very little action they want to see more police they want to see more intervention and they want all of this chaos to come to an end quite quickly. We also know that the Western Cape administration will be hosting a Digicon later today. On the panel includes Community Safety, MEC Albert Fritz, and the uh, police chief here in the province uh, that will all brief on the various interventions uh, being rolled out as a result of this chaos. Natalie, we hope you'll keep us updated. In fact, you always do. Uh, and that some sort of peace can be brokered as soon as possible. Thank you for joining us.